Chapter 6 Another crime cleanup before moving on. Happy, I'm Andy. Come another look. Won't be needing that. Kendall Cox got himself drunk. I suspected he was making a bother of himself. <laughs> drunk was a punishment of his said Harry with a laugh. Now he's dead. What did you take? I found this phone number. It's Will Reed's phone number. He was wanting to make contact with the Keddy Trims to know about how to get you to here. They failed to do so. We've seen it happen when we arrived. Now he'd best clean up the place so the police won't know and get rid of Kendall Cox's body. Where do you think we should bury him, Hermione? Outside, beside the tree, but we can't put his name up. Very quickly and quietly, they buried the body and cleaned up the house then went hard. But just as they were out of the house, it happened. A house alarm set off. It was so loud that it was attracting the model world's attention. Shut up, said Ron. He shot a spell at the house alarm. There was an amazing silence. But not for long. They heard sirens sounding. Now you've done it, said Amani. Percy said tonight, my moon, there'll be investigations happening. Let's get Kindle Cox's body left out. That will distract them. put the body beside the tree and began running off through the bushes out of sight. The police came to sight. They saw the body of Kindle Cox lying in his front yard. He had to be treated to a proper graveyard. None of them ever saw the three figures except they had a pony hide watching the whole thing. She knew who did it. Then she vanished out of sight. End of chapter 6